I just wanted to make a video talking about the chart graph object in Excel. This is something that I had never heard of before until I started just kind of messing around, poking around in Excel, clicking around. Um, it looks like something straight, straight out of the 90s, and I just wanted to make a video to talk about it today. So, to enter one of these suckers, first go to the Insert tab, then to the right, there's going to be a text item you can click, click Text, then you can click Object on the right. Then there's Microsoft Graph Chart. Click OK. And here is basically what it is. Please comment below if you have ever used one of these before. Um, this is something that I haven't heard about recently, but this is very interesting. Um, so as you can see, the data that goes into this chart is completely separate from the entire um, worksheet and the entire file itself. So I'm going to click out of this. As you can see, the data that goes into this graph is very different then it is not in any part of the worksheet at all. Another interesting aspect of these charts is how you edit them. So you actually edit them by clicking these boxes at the top as opposed to clicking into the chart itself. So, for example, you can change grid lines by clicking these boxes right up here. You can change your chart type to be whatever you would like it to be. Interestingly enough, a number of these options are 3D. Um, here's an interesting example right here. So each ring is a different region with each color um, being a separate quarter. Um, so this is just something that's very inter an interesting representation of this data. You know, just different shapes. Interestingly enough, more flexibility on the shapes in this object than in other objects in Excel. We have this cylinder chart, a cone chart, pyramid chart, another, another bar chart. Um, so this is something that is just something that just I generally find to be fascinating. You can also change the way that the data is displayed. So here you can see um, it's by by row. So so each each grouping is a different quarter, with each uh, color being a different region in each quarter. Or we can do it by column, where it kind of flips it. Where now we have each grouping is a different region and each bar is a different quarter. Um, Changing the chart type back to this. So this is and this is something that I was trying to think like why would somebody use this? Um, and there's a couple reasons I can think of. One key benefit is that the data that goes into this chart is not in any part of the worksheet or the workbook. This is beneficial because sometimes you have a chart in Excel that you just don't really want other people messing with. So this is great because you can have data that goes into the chart that's just separate from everything else. So you don't have to worry about it um, as much. Another benefit too is, you know, it's very easy to edit. You know, one of the things with a lot of Excel charts is they're great because they have so much flexibility, but sometimes they're a pain in the butt to edit. This is very easy to edit, just a few clicks. And some things like in this chart, I found to be much easier to edit than in a normal Excel chart. like. And like, for example, changing the um, the by columns by row example, right? Just a simple click, and the data is what is switched. So that was something that I found to be to be very interesting as well, too. So you, so that's, that's also sometimes you might be wanting to have just a different aesthetic in part of your Excel sheet, or you might be purposely trying to make a graph look vintage. It's you know if you're making if you're referencing something that might be a bit older but if you're like hey you know compare and contrast it can be very difficult to make a graph look like it's vintage but here you can see um this graph kind of has like a vintage from the early 2000s or 90s feel and to kind of give a side-by-side -side comparison to what it looks like to what it looks like to more modern looking excel charts we're going to copy and paste the data right here and just go to the insert tab cluster bird chart and here's more modern Looking at Excel chart, showing the same data. So as you can see, it just has a more early 2000s feel to it. Um, I'd say I just thought this was an interesting object that I hadn't really heard of before. Um, and please let me know if you find this to be interesting as well too. Like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, thank you for watching.